Hey everybody. So I am out Monday. Hey, and I wanted to go over to a uh, market here. This is a uh, this is Cone Market. It's the outdoor area where they sell vegetables and things. It's the middle of the day, so there's not too much going on. You can always come here and buy uh, some produce and things like that. Um, so they got fresh produce here, onions, people on motorbikes trying to kill you. And um, you can come here during the day, buy stuff. If you just need something real quick, maybe doing some cooking. But I wanted to go over to Big C. People have been asking me about Big C, uh, which is a supermarket here uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. I think they're in Thailand. I know they're in Thailand, uh, Vietnam, maybe some other countries, uh, but it's more of a westernized or, I don't know, westernized, but just more of a, more of a formal environment than, uh, than an outdoor, uh, wet market and I wanted to show sort of what's available in a more traditional supermarket sense and I've been past this place a bunch of times in my videos I'm sure you guys have seen it here it is big C and you can see what's inside here there's actually more than just a supermarket here they've got uh, cinemas movie movie theater and what you need to do when you go here if you're on a bicycle or a motorbike, you just come here, look for the parking, and this is the parking place. And you go inside. Come on. They give you a ticket. And then they uh, they take your take your picture, and once you're inside, uh, once you're inside, this is the parking space. Tons of motorbikes in here, at least a thousand. It's a lot. So many. But it's secure parking. Parking here is really cheap, like 2000 for a bicycle, maybe 5000 for a motorbike. And this is the bicycle parking. So I'm gonna pull my bicycle in here. There's an electric bike right there. Just park your bike, and it's all safe. And you can head on inside. Excuse me, they don't care. I don't care about pedestrians. And uh, it's about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So you've got, uh, probably people are sleeping, taking a nap. And um, so this is a slow time of day. People come out in the early morning and uh, do their shopping. Middle of the day, it gets kind of hot. So people tend to stay inside. They have some lunch, take a nap, even at businesses though take a nap. Like it, even the people that work in banks will shut down for an hour and take a nap. And take the walking walking escalator thingy. I don't know what they call it. It's not quite an escalator. So this is uh, sort of a shopping mall inside. Have clothing. Ladies, undergarments, shoes and purses, some jewelry, some makeup and stuff over here. Men's and women's clothing. And a 
massage chairs. Ever present massage chairs. These places, um, I can't buy clothes here. Here's a uh, bedding store. I sell bedding. I buy bedding there before. Ooh, this guy's huge. Big Korean guy. You know, little trinkets. Purses and stuff. So, let's head up. And come inside. Have some food. This little food court area. So if you want a sandwich, here you go. It's a uh, sandwich land. So they have me. Prices are okay. Twelve thousand, fifteen thousand. That's okay for a me. People eating. So here's Big C. It's a supermarket. At least on this floor. They got a little KFC inside here if you want some fried chicken. It's a pretty Vietnamese girl. <laughs> I think she, she heard me say she's a pretty Vietnamese girl. So here they have uh, produce. Some fruits, apples, 59,000, 60,000 per kilo. Uh, red delicious apples, 40,000. And, uh, and some uh, watermelon. And pomelo, bui. Bui means something in Vietnamese. I don't recommend you say it out loud unless you're in a supermarket. Uh, a lot of mangoes. Swai is mangoes. And uh, limes, a lot of limes. I see a lot of limes here, but not many lemons, which is a little strange. We have here some plants, house plants. And uh, Some potatoes, Kwai Lang, Kwai Te over there. Uh, I need some of these. I need some cucumber. Cucumber. And tomato. Somebody was asking about tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes. Tomatoes are 19,000 for a kilo. Lots of apples, lots of oranges, kiwi. Kiwi are a little pricey. Kiwi are 104,000, 169,000. They're from, from New Zealand. That's for a kilo of kiwi. And more apples and pears. Pears are 60,000. There is a lot of grapes. Oh, it's not bad for grapes. 35,000 coconut. And some uh, herbs, organic herbs, things like that. Lettuce, romaine lettuce. And iceberg lettuce. Have a... Uh, uh, avocado, uh, 49, almost 50,000 for a kilo, and uh, dragon fruit, 22,000 for a kilo. Uh, those artichoke, oh, artichoke, nice. Are they artichoke? No, they're not artichoke. Mm, sorry, I don't know what they are. Sorry, banana, chuoi. Chuai is the word for banana. It's also the word for something else. And bakery here. Some little takeaway pizzas. Pizzas and breads. 
They have nice uh, baguette over here. Baguette. So big uh, 200 gram baguette for four four thousand, and then uh, yeah, the big ones, big baguette. And uh, a lot of little sweet stuff, donuts. Yummy stuff here. Some cakes, birthday cakes. Yeah. So that's sort of the produce section. Now I'm heading over into like the meats. Oh, these are like prepared foods. You just want to grab a quick lunch. Some rice and fried chicken and noodles. Uh, tip look. Yeah, chicken. Just want to grab something quick, heat it up. It's all prepared here too. These are all pre, pre-made, pre-made delicious stuff. And fried chicken, roasted chicken, roasted chicken. Sometime you just want to go buy one of these. So you know something like that. If you're doing keto. Um, you can buy something like that. So that's about a dollar, a little bit more. That's 23,000, that's a dollar. So chicken wang in the thigh is a dollar. And uh, here's some seafood, seafood section. And uh, yeah, some little fishes, some shrimp, a uh, little shrimp. 36,000, so a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. Oh, and if you love fish heads, they got you covered. Get yourself some fish heads. Uh, here's some uh, ka, ka hoi is uh, salmon. So ka hoi salmon. And, uh, and uh, what is that? 177 for 421 grams. So what is that? It's, uh, so a kilo is 421, a little pricey, a little bit pricey, but if you like salmon, there you go. And some little fishies, and the prices are there. So if you're into seafood, oh, we got live fish over here. Poor little guys, still alive, still alive. And some crab, some crab here. So yeah, some, little, some more little fish, some squid, some squid. Don't fight over the eyes, kids. The eyes are the most delicious. And then they have regular, regular meats over here. So here's a uh, chicken, just a uh, fresh chicken you can buy. Chicken fillet, chicken legs. Uh, you can see the prices here. So. Three chicken legs like that, 33,000. Chicken feet. Oh, my dog loves chicken feet. Changa, Changa, it's chicken feet. Get some chicken feet for my dog. Yeah, and then uh, what do they have here? They have some uh, ba is uh, beef. So, have beef you can cut it to uh, whatever you like uh, so you see the beef here is is very lean they don't there's not a lot of marbleization look at this it's not like uh, US corn fed beef and pork ribs pork pork here tit heo heo means pork so this is uh, this is all pork some ground pork here and more pork some uh, uh, tip, tip dewey heo, that's pork leg. Dewey means leg. Or zui, I don't know. Zui or dewey? Terrible. I know, I know how to read it, I don't know how to say it. And uh, pork chops, some pork chops. So, so that's the meats that they carry. They head over here to uh, the frozen section. Uh, little sausages. Sausages here. Dumplings, if you're into dumplings. 
frozen, you just steam those up. There's uh, sausages and uh, meats. Meats there. More, more sausage, sort of hot dog type stuff. Uh, yeah, these are uh, Vietnamese uh, style foods. Pretty good. Pretty good. And what do we have here? Oh, frozen fish. What do we have? Yeah, some frozen fish. Things like that. A lot of frozen, frozen, frozen fish. some frozen shrimp. A lot of, lot of seafood. A lot of seafood. And, um, let's see, what else? What else we got? Some frozen, uh, frozen dumplings, hakao. Hakao is like, um, like a dim sum. Uh, a dim sum here. Hakao chai is vegetarian. Chai means vegetarian. And some tit, tit ba or uh, ba bien. Not tit ba, it's ba bien or ka bien. It's like fish balls and beef balls, ba bien. Here. Those are good for um, uh, hot pot. When you're doing hot pot, you put those in there. And there's some more. Seafood, cabian, fish balls, and these are like little drinks for the kiddos. I'll head back over this way. This is a uh, formula, baby formula. Wouldn't trust any of that stuff. Wouldn't trust it. Cheeses, uh, mozzarella, uh, gouda, edam, yeah, butter. So fomai, fomai means cheese. So you ever see fomai. Here's more, more over here, more cheeses. Cheese selection isn't great. Tons of yogurt though. This is all yogurt. Like this whole section is just all yogurt. The enemies love their yogurt. And uh, look at that. So many different flavors. Strawberry, pineapple, Lots and lots of yogurts. And then milk. This is it. This is their whole milk section. I don't know. They don't have way more yogurt than milk. Oh, they have some milk here. Unrefrigerated. Fig figure that out. And then here, let's go show you some alcohol. Alcohol. That's just water. Over here is the beer. The beer section and uh, Heineken Tiger. So let's see, six pack of Heineken or yeah, six pack. What is that? Ninety five thousand for six pack of Heineken Budweiser. Uh, Budweiser is one hundred one hundred four thousand one hundred one hundred three thousand Bex. X is here. 21,000 each. Oh, no, oh, that's Hogarden. Where's Hogarden? I don't see Hogarden. Just see Bex. And some local beers via Saigon. Huda. Yeah, Huda. And some Snickers. Just for you, Cheap Charlie. 15,000 for a sneak Snickers, Charlie. Come to Vietnam. Get your Snickers. Uh, here's the liquor. Liquor section. And, uh, yeah. There's a lot of liquor. I don't drink liquor, so I don't know if these prices are any good. But, uh, tequila, gin, Bombay, Sapphire. What is that? 500,000 for a, for a uh, 750 of uh, Bombay Sapphire. Uh, soju, soju, more gin, more vodka, and uh, absolute. And they always have security guard. 
<laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> They're always watching the uh, liquor, the liquor aisle because it's so expensive. And then they have wines. They have wines here. Um, so Merlot. Uh, where is that from? Uh, can't see it. I can't read it. But uh, Lille, Bordeaux, and uh, all sorts of wines. Some are uh, locally made. These are um, Vietnamese wines, and you can see they're quite a bit cheaper. And uh, Vang Dalat, that's the uh, Vietnamese wines. And some sparkling, sparkling wines here. So, drinking isn't too expensive. Now and then you have uh, some sauces, hot sauce, soy sauce, uh, olive oil. Lots of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, so olive oil, I usually buy something like this. So a 500 ml olive oil, 100 and 150, 155. Uh, coconut oil, I like coconut oil for cooking. This is Vietnamese uh, coconut oil. So 122 for a liter of coconut oil. Then some other cooking oils, lots and lots of cooking oils. Fish sauce, lots of fish sauce. This one is good, Nachang fish sauce. I like that one. And I don't want, I don't need to take you down all these. There are a lot of snacks. You get the idea. And some sweets and cookies and potato chips and candies and things uh, and these are instant noodles really popular in Vietnam cup cup noodles um, and just uh, bulk bulk noodles over here spaghetti Italian spaghetti so panzani, panz, panzani barilla uh, not too expensive and uh, mi chung these are uh, Mi chung means uh, egg noodles. Mi is noodle, chung is egg. And chow. Chow is rice porridge. I like that. Uh, bun ba. Uh, pho. Good stuff. Good stuff. Pho take off. Okay, so let me take you. I'm gonna go on the second floor real quick. Don't wanna make this video too long, this vlog too, too, too long. <laughs> and uh, a lot of sweets, if you're into sweets. You got a whole Oreo section, if Oreos are your thing. And uh, chocolate, if you like chocolate, they've got a lot of imported chocolate. Lindor, Ritter, some dark chocolates. Cadbury, some Kit Kat, M&M's, Twix. So if you got a sweet tooth, if you like your chocolate. And biscuits. For you UK folk out there. Okay, I'm gonna take you on the second floor. The second floor is more housewares. Here, you can see the whole store over here. So they have uh, up here, they have a lot of everything for the home. Here they have uh, instant coffee. I don't know why it's here, but uh, instant coffee. Some of the instant coffees are really good. They have uh, L'Oreal, uh, Maybelline, Dove, all sorts of stuff. Here's the men's. You know, most of my viewers are men, so, you know, deodorants. Lots and lots of deodorants. More, more deodorants. Hair care products. Uh, if you want to bleach your hair or dye your hair. Baby stuff. Toothpaste more baby stuff 
toothbrushes. And toothpaste, Listerine, stuff like that. Then you go over here, kind of got some clothing. Some cheap clothing, some some shoes, cheap shoes. What are these? I don't know. So cheap, twenty nine thousand and ninety nine thousand. So less than five dollars. Cheap clothing. Here, these are uh, just some cheap tank top, tank tops, some t shirts, and some scary children. And um, children's stuff, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff. I'll just walk through. I don't, I don't need to show you. Everything's, everything's really inexpensive. Everything is really cheap. Plates, plates, some pans, pots and pans. Bop, mops and buckets. Home cleaning goods, cleaning supplies. Ah, nice. Like a memory foam pillows. Some memory foam. What is that? Memory foam. Less than ten dollars. Some Pikachu, some toys. Three dollars for a Pikachu toy. And kiddos, stuff for the kiddos. Oh, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. So here they got Halloween stuff. I guess what? Tomorrow's Halloween. Then uh, laundry supplies, cooking, cookware, all sorts of pots and pans, some walks, stainless walks, some Nonstick wonks, nonstick fry pans, whole bunch of whole bunch of pots and pans. And more nonstick pans, pots and pans. And more mops. Some hangers, those are always Real important. Here's the, the mop aisle, the very important mop, mop and bucket aisle. And eh, just regular stuff. Just regular stuff. Paper, toilet paper, brooms, some witches' brooms over here. It's not Halloween. It's not for Halloween. Sponges. Stuff. Just a lot of stuff. You know, they also sell luggage. So luggage, fans, circular fans. They sell even little little appliances, water, water kettles, and rice cookers. Necessary, 100% necessary in Vietnam. Every house has a rice cooker, and they have just cooktops that they sell. And that's pretty much it. You sort of have a little bit of everything, or a lot of a lot of everything. Some batteries. And uh, the prices are good. The prices are really good here. You can come here and stock up on everything that you need, maybe once or twice a month. And there is no time. Anyway, bon mui. That's it. Bought some chicken feet 
from a dog and some cucumber for me. And it was $2, less than $2, 40,000. Hello. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's Big C. That's it. Can come there. I'd come there once a month or so just to pick up some stuff. Pick up some uh, laundry detergent. Stuff that I, I can't buy at the local market. Things like that. Something for the home. For people hanging out. So this is the closest thing you have to sort of a mall. You know, it's not a very big place. They just sort of have the essentials. Uh, and it's nice and air conditioned. And everything's a fixed price. You don't need to worry about getting uh, overcharged for anything. Some of the open markets, if you don't know the prices, um, it can be a bit of a, bit of a um, difficult thing to negotiate because you don't know if they're overcharging you or not. You have to sort of just go with what they tell you. You can try to counter offer, but they'll usually say no. Some uh, sunglasses. Quiet. And shoes. There's a movie theater down there. Or you go upstairs, I think, to the movie theater. But, you know, it's kind of quiet here. Shirts. 300000 for some shirts. So, yeah. See, there you go. Here's a mall. And like, like you, as you can see, there's not too many people. Not too many people in the mall. People don't really go to malls. If Big, C, if Big C wasn't here, I doubt they'd have many customers. It's only because of Big C. back to my bicycle, the security guard. I don't know. They, they hire these really tiny women to be security guards. Like, what are they gonna do? I guess call somebody. <laughs> and this is the helmet check, free helmet check. When you park, if you park your motorbike, if you don't want to leave your helmet, you can uh, check your helmet so somebody doesn't steal it, which has been known to happen if you have a nice helmet. If you have a cheap old beat up helmet, nobody wants it, but if you have a decent helmet, you put it over there, you don't have to carry it with you. It's still there. And since I'm so close, I'll just walk out. So here's the prices for parking. Zedap is 2,000. Zeme is a motorbike. Zedap is a bicycle. Anyan? 
2000 and I'm just gonna walk out so I don't have to pedal up this pedal up this hill and so now we're back out back out of big C so there you go that's what a supermarket looks like there's a few different types there's a uh, Oh, I forgot the names. Metro, maybe? In, uh, in the south a little bit. No, Metro is in Saigon, I guess, but Big C is, uh, Big C is, is kind of all over. You can see them in most of the, most of the big cities, or all of the big cities, and then some of the smaller cities as well. So there you go. That's it, that's Big C. Hope you enjoyed that. Get an idea what a supermarket looks like here, kind of the prices and what's available. If you're not, uh, if you're not too keen on eating uh, Vietnamese food, you can go go there, stock up on meat and produce, and um, and cook, cook for yourself. Cook for yourself. It's probably healthier. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you later.